Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Preserve Championships. Dialed it up. That's going to be a drop in birdie for Waisaki to open his round today. Footing. Now you're dealing with a crosswind here off his left. Great distance control from Lazat inside circle one, almost a certain birdie. You know, a guy that maybe we haven't seen for a while. Well, he knows how to birdie hole one because that's going to be a tap in for Williams. Yeah, it's incredibly crucial. Got to get it online. Bradley has played this hole tremendously well through two days. Make it three for three. That's a good one. You're just going to try to bend a slow turnover. About perfect. <laughs> it certainly is. Choo choo, my friend. Piece of information there from Brian because that up and down to save his bogey is best case scenario from where his tee shot landed. Albert. Hard job, hole six for birdie. Oh, that's coming right at the pin, and Bradley Williams puts it in. He just put that in. Bradley Williams in disbelief online the entire way. Oh, my God. The most unlikely of shots, blind Bradley Williams down the hallway. We saw Conrad splash chains, <laughs> and as that popped up, I thought it might have a chance to skip in. That's tracking. I like the speed in which it's coming in. It was just dying as it was tracking toward the basket. And Ricky Waisaki, a park job. Give himself a look. This looks pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Or sit. pretty great. Sit down, sit down. And it's going to curl and giving him a putt from about circle's edge. All things Williams right now. Look better wind for this putt. We see Simon Lazat cash that one in here on nine. That is five pretty flat without drifting with the wind. This is on line. Is it slow down just at the right spot? He's gonna have CTP Bradley Williams trying to hunt it down on the back nine. Oh, and Waisaki knew it halfway there. We have get the mini raptor legs. It's got to be in his mind that the tournament is nearly out of his reach. How does he respond? This looks great. He responds with a great drive. The, the slope is five feet behind the pin. <laughs> Who cares what's behind the pin? He's in it. Waisaki, the huge throw in on 12 from a knee. He's had four pars. Every one of those pars has hit basket for birdie. Every one of them. Here's the forehand coming in what looks to be a little deep or parked. Simon Lazat picks up the birdie. Yes. And we'll hand it to Luke Taylor as well, a double digit under par round today. Lazat wants to come in low, skip up to the pin, and perfect. This looks great for Klein. I love it.
with a deep breath. That is tracking to the basket as well. Rest right on the hillside. <laughs> Bradley can make is just putting too much heat on this and going long. Smartly keeps it low. A great skip. Fantastic skip. Good. And Terry, that's four perfect tee shots. Back into the headwind, too. That's the advantage for the sidearm. Can go over stable. And Simon keeps the forehand drives on reserve. But when he pulls them out this weekend, they've been successful. Parked. Count it. Williams. Count it. Has sprinkled in a few birdies over the last six or seven holes, but it is not going to be enough. It's, he's moved to 25. Meanwhile, Simon Lazat now back in the conversation that he's put all of these birdies together. is much lower. Oh, and this is going to turn out just fine. That's dialed. That... <laughs> Kyle Klein. No quit in him either. Right down the gut here on hole number 17. Simon following the same, and that's going to be right in front of the basket. Park job for Simon Lazak. This disc. That's clean. This is going to be a great shot for Williams. Inside the circle, he's deep, yes, but still clean. Huge putt to go to 31 under for Bradley Williams. He cashes it. Yes. Just think of how sh the short time that was where we thought that's what he might need. Just inbounds here, Terry. That is absolutely perfect. Certainly one of those. And the reign of Ricky Waisaki will come to a close at 30 under. Not quite enough, however, he put up one heck of a fight here today. Bradley Williams, a crush on it. He's going to find himself somewhere in the bunker, which is safe. Williams. Oh, most definitely. And it's the disappointment is in the slip. And Bradley Williams, six years to the day, is again your champion at the Disc Golf Pro Tour, winning here at the Preserve. Congratulations, Bradley. Um, my wrist, I was like doing my wrist stretches and stuff. I had really nice spin and I was committing early in the week on the putts. And then a little bit of like destiny and fate was kind of like, I felt like I was being tugged forward through the rounds by something outside of myself. I really felt like I was being pulled through the course and I was like shocked and surprised and I was just riding it. A phenomenal feeling, I'm sure. Congratulations, go celebrate. Thank you guys. Wow. Yeah. Bradley Williams earning it today. Yeah, and just watching that highlight package reminds me how important the road is versus the destination. The destination this weekend for Bradley Williams is the trophy. It's the ring on his finger. It's his name etched on the bear. But the road is what's more important. It's what he's going to remember, feeling like he's getting pulled through the course, destiny on his side, and it's only one day every six years that you can have it be on the same day. And also Paige Pierce did that earlier today. I really just don't know what to say, honestly, because Bradley, that package we just saw, that was day one.
That was day two, and that was today. He did. He basically played the same way every single shot and uh, was committed. And uh, it's a it's a great victory for a person who has over a hundred of them. It's uh, it's his best, according to him.